Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Into the Net. We're on another away day today. We are in Edinburgh. We're in for the SPFL match at the Tony Macaroni Arena. This is a stadium I've wanted to visit for quite a while, so come with me. I'll we'll make it some uh, food. Mamma mia. here at the Tony Macaroni Arena, Livingston against St Mirren and I have to say, I'm not even joking, I'm not exaggerating, this has been one of my bucket lists for a while. I've always wanted to go to Tony Macaroni Arena and there's been a reason for that. On Sky Sports, you know, when Jeff Stelling goes over the name, the Tony Macaroni Arena, it's just unreal. Uh, I love it. So, really excited for the game and honestly, this has been... Oh, this has been a long time coming. I've all, I, honestly, I've always wanted to come here, and today's day that I've done it. January buzzing. And the best news is so far, Sunday in the four 0 up against Southampton. So, oh, what a day! What a glorious day! So, of course, when you get to the Tony Macaroni Arena, you have to have a macaroni pie. It has to be done. Oh, Tony Macaroni pie at the Macaroni Arena. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Only three pound fifty as well. Absolute bargain for like, oh, it's a macaroni pie. You have to go to, the, you have to get a macaroni pie if you go to the macaroni arena. So buzzing for kick off. And the reason that we're here really is uh, Conor McManaman and Keelan Boyd Munns, obviously Northern Ireland internationals. As a Kimball supporter, it's been great to see Conor McManaman's rise. So uh, delighted he starts this afternoon. So yeah, let's see how this game goes, but. Macaroni Arena, Macaroni Pie, 10 out of 10. What a feeling. I don't know if it's 10 out of 10 taste, it might not be, but. Oh, buzzing, buzzing. <laughs> Still no no, nothing really happening in the game. Nothing really clear cut. St. Murren have had more of the ball in their own half in the Livingston half. But haven't really forced the Livy goalkeeper into a save yet. So still no no, but I think St. Murren are playing a better football and they're more progressive. But Livingston have been well organised to their credit. Um, and like I say, hasn't really been a clear cut chance in the game. Still nil nil. Stoppage in play, and it looks a really bad injury. Uh, I don't know who it is for, but it is a Livingston player. And to be honest, from where I'm sitting, you couldn't really see what happened, but you knew instantly it was a bad one with the Livingston players' reactions. They just called straight to the bench and the paramedics immediately. So the stoppage we've had for about five minutes or so. Um, yeah, it's very unfortunate and. 
hope it's not as serious as it looks, but it does look a nasty one. Um, so yeah, I don't know who it is, and I hope, hope that player recovers very quickly. So I'm still not sure who it is, to be honest, but Livingston players stretch it off, and I wish them a speedy and quick recovery. It's never nice to see that in football. One of the worst signs, if not the worst sign you'll see in football, is someone being stretched off. And I just hope that he recovers very, very soon, and that's not as serious as it looks. Best into the game so far on 43 minutes. Conor McMenamin with a fantastic cross in the Craig Kilty and his header as well saved by Livingston goalkeeper but much better from Simran. Nearly half time, not going to lie. Dreadful first half. Um, Simran with the best chance of the game with that McMenamin cross with Craig Kilty but it's been poor, really poor. Nothing has happened apart from that chance and the injury. I think the injury obviously took a sting out of the game for a while because obviously both sides more concerned than Livingston player, which is understandable. But yeah, this has been dreadful. No other way to put it. Half time at the Tony Macaroni Arena, Livingston nil, St. Murrin nil. And uh, yeah, it's been terrible. I have to say, it's been a dreadful game of football. Sid Byrne with that one big chance. Like I say, brilliant ball. Conor McMenamin into Craig Kilty, whose header was well saved by the Livingston goalkeeper. But apart from that, I've got to be honest, nothing's happened. And uh, there is no positives out of that half. It was horrendous. Um, it can only get better, as they say. Uh, there's a song from Sunderland that says things could only get better, uh, which is 100% right. Uh, but yeah, half time, Livingston, Elsa Marnell, and there's nothing really much to say. It's been just a shocker. <laughs> Have to say, highlight of the game. Sid Marnell fans, incredible. Big first of sang. Um, the whole game long so far has been unbelievable. Credit to them, absolutely outstanding. So they have so pick up St. Martin, the fans have been super, absolutely super. Still no no unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, this is potentially one of the worst matches I've ever been to in my life. It is there's no positives. It's ah uh, yeah, it's just shocking. And nothing's happened. Neither keeper has had to make a save a real note in the second half. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. It's just, yeah, it's been dreadful.
though it's now Sunday. To be honest, I just came home from the match yesterday and sort of chilled out a bit. Watched the EFL highlights, obviously. Sunderland beating Southampton 5-0, but on yesterday's game, I thought the game was, was pretty poor, to be honest with you. Um, I was, uh, I've just watched the Celtic Rangers game um, at Ibrox, but I haven't vlogged it because I just thought, you know, vlogging at Ibrox and an old firm derby is a bit, mm, it's a bit of a risk, I think, in terms of you generally could get your phone smashed. So I, I didn't really want to do that. Um, but thoughts on St. Mary and Livingston? I think it's a really good point for St. Mary, I must say. I thought the pitch was really poor. It was really dry and, you know, there was a, there was it was very hard to take a touch on it for some of the players. Um, obviously, some Ireland players aren't used to that pitch, so I thought you know I think that's what made the game a little bit scrappy as well. That the pitch quality just wasn't there. Um, Livingston, you know, you thought they won it through Luigi Perez, um, simple finish, and then obviously you know uh, Stav Nakmani. Um, he scored his first goal for St. Mirren yesterday, a little bit of a scramble, um, and he found the net. But, um, yeah, a good point for St. Mirren, uh, the great start of the season. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a poor game, I have to say. But, uh, being honest, I think, I like Scottish football, and, and I always will, but you watch the two games this weekend, and you're thinking, is, the, is Scottish football well and truly declining? And, it kind of does feel like that. Maybe I just picked a, a bad weekend to come across and I watched two games, but I watched, like they say, I've just been to the Ibrox to watch Rangers and Celtic and for the two top teams in Scotland, I thought the quality was awful. Absolutely awful in terms of the final ball, decision making. Um, and But there was a one moment of quality in the game and it was the finish from Kyogo Funanashi. Outstanding finish. Absolutely outstanding finish. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching the vlog from the Tony Macaroni. And if you have liked it, please subscribe or leave a like on the video. And we'll see you in the next vlog very soon. I'm not actually sure when the next vlog is going to be. I'm not sure what game I'll be vlogging. Cliftonville play Carrick and the Countdown Shield on Tuesday. But I'm not sure if, you know, the interest of the viewer will be there. For, I mean, in the nicest way possible for a Countdown Shield game. So I'm not actually sure when the next vlog will come from. Cliftonville play Wraith Rovers. Uh, next Saturday I don't think I'll go to Wraith to be honest um, I don't think I'll be at that game so it will be an Irish league game I will say my best my best mate Lee you know, um, plays for Newry so uh, probably likelihood is I'll go watch um, Glen Torn, Newry and Glen Torn next Saturday but anyway I'll see you in the next vlog and if you've liked this one please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon